You can't just tell me I made a mistake. I know when I make a mistake. I'm trying to be confident about it. We don't have to bring it up or whatever. I would take a honey. Mmm. I would take a sweet honey. We'd have dinner first, we'd go to the movies, I'd take her home, I would leave because I am polite. Draconic rings, sulking turtles, sulking- sulking twice? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Sulking turtles. We're gonna be some sad baby turtles who just wish they were in the weekly today. But they're not, because super auto pet creators, they hate the turtle. Turtle is their least favorite pet, that's why they stuck it on the cover of the game. Because they want everyone to see how stupid and dumb he is and constantly be making fun of him. The bees on the turtle. Not the turtle, the fish. He doesn't exist. I take stats over stats plus basically a bee. The chinchillas are a little bit of a wild card here because I don't appreciate them very much. But the fish and the marmoset are pure statage. And pure statage can save the day. You guys have no summons and no abilities. But I can see as soon as you get one, that team's going to be scary. It wasn't scary for me, but somebody's going to be freaking crying in their, in their bed when they attack that man. Upset turtle. That's a very upset turtle. He seems to actually be hype bleh. He's grossed out. He's not only upset, he's freaking disgusted. We will level today to see the secrets. The secrets are lame. I, there are no toys. Leech? Well... Leech has a very specific set of skills. A set of skills which I feel like can only be appreciated by this man, and that man takes so long to get to. Technically, he can eat random guys. You know what? I think I'm just gonna do worm. I feel like I like the worm. Last time I realized that the worm was taking um, more money than I thought he was, despite the fact that I was buying the apples for like five turns. You should say, maybe you should look at your bank account more closely. I say, money is the only joy in life because it's the only thing that we get in this capitalism world that does anything, so let's just spend it. Let's just freaking let it go. Okay. The stork. I wish I could level this fish. I cannot. The stork is the dream. Everything relies on the sork. We also have a second worm now. If I sold this man and started second worm, I could make this stork better twice as quickly. The math do be mathin' though. That sounds freaking amazing. I wish he could kill things, but that's not his goal. His goal is to make the stork better. The stork, now the stork. I wish the stork could kill things. That would probably be pretty cool as a result of that. You're gonna be taking up two entire support units. You gotta be doing your parts. So these are expensive. Which is lame. I'm gonna buy one, and then let's see what this does. This is appreciated, and I can afford one additional apple. I really wish that you were leveled. Ooh, wait, that's not the thing I asked for. How about the level, though? There it is. I'm glad somebody in this household listens. I, I don't know how long we're gonna want to keep this fish now, because it is taking buffs, but I don't have another level two, so I guess it's not technically stealing anything. It's just freaking happening. Big worm actually does things. To be fair, the worm with the googler hat on it is absolutely adorable. Yes? Yes. A second penguin. Well, if you insist, we're just going full scaling on these two dudes. And he has a meat bone now. Why does a storm happen every time you stream? This is the third time in a row. It's because I'm summoning them to sabotage you and your happiness. I just thought, wouldn't it be cooler if Captain was more sad? That's what I... I don't know. How does it feel? Does it feel pretty cool or like not cool? Because I can I can chill a little bit if, if it's like not if you're not into it, you know? Get out of my face, you stupid worm. That man killed two of my dudes and he was just a freaking slug. That's freaking lame, is it not? I didn't demand this. Here's your apple of the day to keep the doctors away. I refuse to let you see the doctor. We are a uh, what prescription herb household so that everyone can just kind of like pass away. Would be fun, I guess. You could scale. You could scale a tiny bit more than you currently do. This worm is doing minimal. You know what, penguin? Happy birth. Happy birth to the penguin. He gets a croissant. I don't think bread products are actually good for birds. Case in point, you're not really supposed to give breadcrumbs to geese at the pond, but people be doing that because they old and they don't know any better. I think it would become a knowledge by now or that they put some signs up. Apparently they do not. Either that or people do not read, which is also kind of... Understandable. Why read when you could have bad eyesight from staring at a computer for multiple hours a day because work is online and playing is online and fun activities are online, so you know. Who needs eyes this day and age? You continue to be scaling, but I feel like this worm being- there it is, there's the level of dreams. Macaw part 67. You know what, now that you're leveled, you do something. The fish does not need to be leveled anymore. He could just not exist. 
Isn't the alternative to give seeds to birds instead? The alternative of bread? Yeah, I think you need to get like specific geese friendly food that's not breadcrumbs. <laughs> but I think it's just more expensive and people can have breadcrumbs that maybe they just don't use so they just kind of go out there and toss it, but it's not actually very good for the animals. I can do this. And do this, yes. The lack of good food for him is still kind of tragic, but you know what? Here's an eggplant. I hope the orangutans does something. I'm pretty sure it won't. I'm almost entirely certain it won't, but he'll look pretty fun having his little midday snack. They have an eggplant. I don't know if that... That was probably beneficial for me, honestly. Thank you. Thank you for that. Heyo! Welcome, welcome! Cannibal Stalker. It's a very interesting name to say, though. Hello, Cannibal Stalker! I welcome all people of cannibals and stalkers into this chat hold. I don't know if I want, like... Maybe not in the most, like, confidence, but I can definitely say it if it means something else. That's actually a pair now. Our worm is doing effective things. That's insane. Okay, a fortune cookie is something that technically does something on his son. So congratulations, son. You've earned yourself that. A taco tomorrow, because there's barely any good food that honestly, saving a taco, not a waste of shop space. Most of the things that are in the food side of the shop are a waste of shop space, so we can kind of just do whatever we want. Two individual dolphins. That's a beefy man. Have you considered my two dudes who can kill things? Ooh, a draw. Honestly? Insane. I thought we were dead. You can get better? No, you can get better. I- you know what? F this taco. Give me chocolate. No, hey, this is a buy sell. Okay. I know I said F that taco, but actually thank you for the taco. I appreciate it with all my heart. It was what I was looking for. I don't necessarily want to keep this cool worm. Um, I know he is beefy. I know he is a medium-sized worm and all of that jazz. However, I kind of feel like we could put someone who does things cooler. He is a pear, and he gives me cheap pears, but is scaling really how this weekly is meant to go? Or is this weekly meant to be turkey with this guy in the back for every fight? Well, I won, so point proven. I think I am the correct answer. More worms. Ooh, congratulations to us. Yes and yes. Nobody needs to be pushed backwards. Nobody needs to be pulled forward. Nobody on my team really actually has to be in any specific spot. Quite literally. So you guys can bitch mingle. If there was a freaking Komodo dragon this weekly, this would be like one of the first times that I'd be like completely chill with it. My team's order does not matter whatsoever. You killed your own slug. None of that was be, like able to be working. This guy's seagull maneuver is very interesting of a concept, but it, I just think it's destined to literally never work. Stupid turkeys. Having two turkeys, so freaking scummy. Big. This guy being scaled. Amazing. Two walruses. Block one, two gold, better apple. I like the better apple. What is this gonna- if you level. If you level, is it only one gold? Stock one, two gold, best apple. So this is still scaling. This guy's scaling is better than the penguin scaling. Believe in the worm, but I want this walrus. Should I ditch the penguin? The penguin's not doing a lot, right? This guy leveled. A decent, you know, maybe, maybe I just, maybe I just ditch this stupid penguin. He looks really chill in his hat, but he could also look really chill in the pocket. I have a level two walrus coming tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna live that long, but won't that be fun if we do? Don't kill my guy, he just got here. Now he's gonna think that this team is a loser, they can't even keep him alive for five seconds. It's fine, we won. We'll take him to the hospital, he'll recover. Yes, and yas. Okay. Large bird is still the technique. This technique has lasted me thus far, and I think it's doing pretty well. None of you people, yes to you, and also chocolate. I feel like I've been seeing a sad amount of chocolate recently. Kind of like hurting me, kind of like burning a hole in my pocket of all this money I was going to spend on chocolate. I feel like they're kind of wasting their candy sales potential. Catworm would have been interesting. Catworm! But then I wouldn't have my sweet walrus. That would have actually been really good, I hadn't thought about it. But how about we just look at the walrus instead? Look how cute the walrus is. We have no regrets here, only walrus. There he is again. Because that's like a 6-6, six, six, right? So that's like a 6-6 six, six for two gold. But that's the only food. Besides that, the cat wouldn't be doing very much. And I can't I'd have to sell somebody. I think at this point, it's probably correct to keep doing this. 
because peanuts are suave. Mostly because there's not a whole lot of, besides tacos, there's not a whole lot of other things for the cat in the shop. So I feel like it's a decent decision to keep doing this. I would love it if someone with frickin' peanuts touched that shark. Just like, yep, that's beautiful. We didn't even have to use our sweet worm. The worm doesn't even have to be good. He's got good supports in front of him. Beat bone. Slightly worse version of apple. Welcome to the party. That man is close to being finished with eating. 50% chance to do double damage. 50% chance to do 80 or more peanuts. 1, 2, 3, 4. More peanuts. All of the tools in this game do like literally just damage, I guess, like cheese and fortune cookie. To be fair, I kind of hate both those units. How F your weakness. How can I just have peanuts? Stop shooting me, my worm. We had eight wins, to be fair, which is infinitely more than it felt like we were having. We freaking go again in the lava with two horses and a groundhog. Technically, one summon is going to happen, so this functions. Should I try a summon team? You know what? This is stupid and ugly and I hate horses, so I feel like I'm betraying my own self-conscious by doing it. However, I don't think I've specifically run a summons team and everyone else is doing it, so maybe it's like cool. Shiny boogeyman, evil scouts, holy rangers. Some shiny rangers, some evil scouts. Evil boogeyman just seems kind of classic. Let's be a shiny scout. We're shiny and new. Our little thing of patches has zero patches. We're kind of disqualified from it. We're like, man, it sucks that I have no patches and everyone else is like, you got here five minutes ago, Dave. You have been at the scout camp for literally five minutes. You don't have freaking pouches. Of course you don't. No, but do something, Dave. And he's like, no, my mom said she would buy me three before I got here. And they're like, freaking, why did they open the patch salesman court? The Girl Scouts just sell cookies. We used to actually do things, us Boy Scouts, and now we can just buy our patches because nothing matters. Hmm. Can't help but notice that there's like no summoning things. Like the groundhog is like one baby summoning thing. Oh, this guy, and that guy, and this guy. And and that guy, and that guy. Well, if you count all of them, but I wasn't counting any of those people. How about Goose for one turn? Thin Mint Gang? I, for one, think that mint is a nasty flavor. And I also think that Thin Mints... People obsess about Thin Mints, right? Girl Scouts be doing stuff, everyone's like, let's get all the frickin' Thin Mints. I think if the, those cookies were good enough to be really amazing, outside of having like a level of rareness because you can only get them from girl scouts or whatever there would be more of them at the grocery store more knockoffs you know i feel like thin mints are only so amazing or whatever to people because they are rare they have an air of mystique around them otherwise they're not even that chill they're just like like hard cookies that are vaguely minty if you got them at the grocery store without the existence of girl scouts you'd be like this freaking sucks and you get chocolate chip instead one with coconuts, okay. The best one is the peanut butter and chocolate one because peanut butter and chocolate. It didn't literally even matter what they did with the recipe, just the fact that it had those two things in it made it the best. I would take another beluga whale. That's not what I freaking asked for, sir. We'll take a second goose then. Whoa. Look at all these levels. We've rolled twice for pizzazz, I guess. I eat a lot of mint stuff. I have to eat mints to like brush my teeth and crap because alternative toothpaste flavors are nasty, but mint is such a strong flavor. I have the most boring tongue known to man. Um, so most strong flavors that aren't like like super sweet things, super spicy things, super minty things, it's like meh. It's toothpaste, what the hell? Do you not eat your toothpaste? That's how you're supposed to do it. Some people rinse and some people just eat it out of the tube. Who needs water when you can have more toothpaste in your mouth? I'll actually keep this one for tomorrow. Whoa. This is actually so good that this is better. And I'm not going to level the horse. He's a temporary dude. I'm not leveling you. You're also only existing to be leveled. Confirmed receipts or toothpaste? I mean... Somebody has to, okay? All these peeps be out here washing and rinsing their mouth multiple times after brushing their teeth. They don't know you're supposed to leave it in there. You're supposed to leave the toothpaste on your teeth for maximum actual cleanage. People just don't be doing that. So I gotta make up for the slack. I just straight up eating the toothpaste and never rinsing. Who needs water when you could have more toothpaste? Levels? So I want the penguin. The penguin is true. I did say we're doing a summoning thing though, so... So I guess we're doing a summoning thing. 
it occurs to me that some of my uh, dolphins there probably weren't actually existing because I did that order stupid, but that's fine. More summons! Look at all these freaking summons we have. I could sell him tomorrow to get rid of him to scale them. I have the maximum summons I could theoretically have. There's an argument for leaving toothpaste in your mouth after brushing. Yeah, none of that you're supposed to. Well, so says the internet to me. To be fair, I just read it somewhere and every time someone's like, you guys are doing it wrong, here's the real thing. I just kind of trust it, which I realize is kind of a fault. But I think you're not supposed to spit it out, actually. Straight up, do not spit. Yes? And yes. Okay, so we have all of the best summoning things in the game. Now we need a turkey. I think I've only seen one turkey so far this weekly. Maybe I just haven't been thinking about it because I don't really care to have one up until now. You're not a turkey. And they're like, well, if you wanted a turkey, you should wait until the next turn to do that level. And I was like, I can't follow the rules of the game. You should have given me one today. They're like, yes, I'm so sorry. You're correct. And I'm like, damn, heckin' right I am. You haven't even fought my true potential. 16,000 dolphins and a bee with a cute hat. The bee to rule them all. At this point, should I just get a better horse? I mean, it's only three extra attack. I just don't think that's that good. I think I'm just gonna give everyone baby scaling. You, that's real scaling because you leveling is actually really good. I can't have you, bison. If I can't have you, no one can. I ripped the bison from the existence of the game and no one ever sees him again. And everyone's like, oh, what happened to that guy? I liked it. And I'm just like, well, the people who made the game said even the second nerf wasn't even good enough. Ditch him. No one likes the bison. And everyone's like, we all freaking love the bison. And the team's like, I can't hear you, nerds. Keep playing our stupid game. And we're like, yeah, okay. And we do that for, like, hours. For some reason, the rice ball just keeps making me think that people have garlic. And I'm like, I feel like we should be doing better. And we're not. You can be here. You are sweet and cool. Stop giving me horses. I am, in fact, looking for turkey. Is a whale better... For anyone here. I could see it working with snail because you still get two baby snails but I just don't think I care that much about that concept. You getting eaten? That's pretty good. Better than horse? Also losing your stats. You know what? Just because I'm scaling him already. I'm already scaling him. I don't know. I'm already scaling him. I feel like it's too committed at that point. I wonder if there's a Reese's toothpaste that tastes like chocolate and peanut butter. Probably. But I imagine it probably isn't as good as it sounds. I think, I mean, like, when you go to the dentist, they've always got those crazy flavors, and they're like, which of these three flavors do you want us to put in your mouth? Cotton candy, bubble gum, strawberry, it's just a bunch of red and pink stuff, chocolate or whatever, and they're all disgusting. So you have to choose, like, the strawberry one or whatever, because it's the least nasty one, and even that one still tastes like that pink Pepto-Bismol crap. Whatever that pink liquid is that you feed babies every time they're sick for literally anything. A toddler is sick, you give them pink pink juice. They all just taste like that. It's the least it's the least nasty thing and it still tastes like that. Red Risley, but blue hoodie in room. Everything has always been blue. Red was always a lie. It was a trick to divert you from the real secrets. The secret is blue. I know it's crazy and I know I kind of- Turkey! Oh my god! <laughs> I saw the turkey. You distracted me, you dingle. I skipped a turkey. Luckily, God is gracious and put one in the exact same location that one was in. But we could have had a, a half-leveled turkey as well. Level? Mm, yes. This could be cool. We consider it. More turkey. See, we could have had a level 2 turkey. Whoa. We could have had- we had a lot of- at this point, I can't even be mad. They're giving me a lot of turkeys. <laughs> All transgressions are forgiven. Um, RNG God is good and he says, yes, you may have turkey. Don't shoot my freaking bird, I swear to God. You can shoot that one. Actually, I don't really care as much about that one. This is gonna suck. Luckily, he was only a baby. Luckily, oh, I didn't think about that. Turkey is especially cool because the dolphins actually get his ability. I don't think there's any more other like summoning benefit guys who would do that. I mean, we have another chocolate. You can level, I guess. So now we, we could have a level 2 tiger. Is that better than any of you guys? This guy is infinite. Which, I real feel like if they're ever gonna probably nerf this guy in the future, it's probably gonna be like putting a limit like everyone else. I'm kind of surprised they didn't. Because everyone else got limits. So this is great. You stay. 
This... This is one turn. This is really good because he's summoning like two dudes. He's summoning three dudes, so that's great. So if I sold someone, I would either be saying F the scaling, which... I mean, if I'm running a summoning team, maybe that's actually valid. And I could put an onion on him. Yeah. Ooh. You know what? No. We're doing a summoning squad. I'm gonna say F this frickin' penguin. I don't know how far we're even gonna survive, so I might as well commit to it. We're gonna get a level 2 onioned penguin. Uh, or not penguin. Tiger. I don't know when the onion's gonna come into play, but once he does, it'll be super cool. I'm so surprised we were capable of killing that man. And it freaking won. We don't even need the summoning dolphins. Alright, an onion? That is not an onion. The game betrays me. Goodbye. Tiger? Tiger, have you considered? Oh, I forgot you do that as well. That's pretty nice. So that is scaling. I do enjoy that. You can't be there. You can make him summon two things. You can make him summon six things, which is physically impossible. You can make the turkey do a lot of things. This is probably better than just more summons, chocolate. I, I, I know that saving this chocolate is probably going to make me have less onion possibility. But I'm like, I know, don't bring it up. I, I'm still mourning that fact. Okay, I wish we had killed him a bit faster. This man's going to be spooky. Everyone cool is in the back. Don't look at us. We didn't even need them. Our cool freaking dolphin gang is not even necessary. It's literally never been necessary, but I still love him for existing. You only get stats when you get better, so you suck. Let's just make the turkey better and also get an onion. Maybe an onion? Hmm, have you considered onions though? I hear that onions are like the best food in the world because they go good on everything. I don't know if that's necessarily true, but like things like onion and garlic are probably the two biggest. Sweet to add. Nice additional flavoring. We summoned another turkey. That was tasty. No, we're gonna die? That's dumb. We were doing so good though. Gonna spit on my parade. You get to happen twice. And you will fit. The Onion of Dreams. So, I realize now that this does nothing for us. Because I was like, well, the point of the Onion is that we could put him in front of somebody else first and then he can get shot to the back. But he can't do that. You know what would be cool? Is there a way to get an onion on the turkey such that he gets shot behind the dolphins? No, that doesn't do anything. It's fine, we're just getting a pretzel. Pretzel is the answer. Nothing else here matters. The tiger having an onion means nothing. He's just going to go behind the dolphins, which also does nothing. But the... Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you think about it that way. Okay, you guys have the statage. Have you considered many summons? I realize that that man is made to defeat my team. This is going to be really suck. Slowly but surely, it didn't even matter. It's fine. Get stabbed by frickin' Turkey. Turkey is the OG. As long as your Turkey is leveled, he's supposed to get you wins. He didn't even get me wins, you stupid leveled Turkey. I even gave you a Tiger support. A level 2 Tiger support. This man is so ungrateful. I have offered him the universe and he's given me frickin' nothing. Yes? Plus 6, plus 9. Is this gonna allow us to get murders? Is this going to allow us to commit murders? Hmm. It do be really suck, though. Mm, but this one, this one for Sherzies. These guys aren't getting any stronger, so that's definitely helpful. Maybe that's our problem, is that our team is built that we're still capable of killing boars. They take out so many dudes that it really nerfs our ability to do things afterwards. So while I can kill boars and it feels happy when I do it, I think I still don't want to see them. Look at all these tigers! Oh, if I live, I'm so close to a bunch of level 3s, except the stupid slug, which doesn't even want to level because that's dumb anyhow. You're too strong for me, sir. Go back to the, I don't know, the place where you came from. Go back to Storkland and keep delivering your stupid babies. We don't want your baby delivering skills. We're too strong and amazing. The Triceratops was freaking leveled as hell. They just want me to succeed. Look at the game. They're giving me all of the tickets. A meat bone for tomorrow. We celebrate with meat tomorrow. I know a lot of you might not eat meat or necessarily have to eat meat, but tomorrow we are carnivorous. Oh my god. 
This is the ultimate test. Can we defeat a team of largely 50-50s? With the power of infinite summons. That was a large two poodles. I don't think two poodles was what I was looking for. God help us. God could not help us. He has forsaken the world. <laughs> Me was never on the Membo. We're all obviously vegetarians. We're all pacifists. We're so, so little and pacifistic that we can't eat a meat bone. That would be rude. 